What would you do if you found a hairy toe in the ground? Would you be afraid or grossed out? Well, today's story tells us about just such an adventure. Well, hi there, reader adventurer, and welcome to Storytime for Kids. I'm Mrs. McCurley, and today we have a story called The Hairy Toe that comes to us from traditional American Halloween folklore. Be sure to subscribe to find out about all of our new videos, and let's get started. The Hairy Toe. A long, long time ago, a very old woman lived in the deep, dark forest. She grew and hunted her own food, scratching out a living, selling rabbit hides and squirrel tails. One morning, as she was digging in the soft earth, looking for potato roots for her supper, she saw something odd, buried halfway under some leaves. Pulling back the debris, she realized that indeed, the object was not a potato root, but a big, hairy toe, easily the size of a pumpkin. The toe was thick and full of human meat, and she thought it would make a delicious supper to go with her potatoes. Oh, looky here what me has found, she hummed under her breath, admiring her prize. A juicy toe with sweet meat abounds. She tossed the toe into her satchel and headed back to her cottage to begin cooking the stew that would be her dinner. She filled a black cauldron with water and hung it on an iron peg over the fire. She added celery, carrots, some fresh herbs, and the big hairy toe. She stirred the mixture slowly with a large wooden spoon, sipping the broth every few hours until the flavor was just right and the sunset signaled time for dinner. As she chewed the sweet meat of the toe, she thought, this is the yummiest supper that I've eaten for as long as I can remember. With the belly stuffed and satisfied, she headed off to bed for a restful night of sleep. At the stroke of midnight, the bright light of the full moon was overcome by a dark, ominous shadow. The wind howled, but the animals were silent, having fled the woods surrounding the cottage. A rumbling, low voice rolled out from the forest like a thunderstorm, bellowing, Harry Toe! Hairy toe, I want my hairy toe. Hearing the call, but wishing it to be nothing more than the whistling wind, the old woman squeezed her eyes shut and burrowed under her many dusty old blankets. A nightbird, the smooth black feathered raven that called the eaves of the cottage roof his home, screamed out a startled ah! and flew away from the old woman leaving her all alone. Closer now, at the edge of the stone pathway leading to her front door, the deep voice boomed again. Harry Joe, Harry Joe, I want my Harry Joe. Lying in her bed, the old woman's eyes popped open and her wrinkled body shivered uncontrollably while her heart beat like a hammer in her chest. She jumped up and ran to the front door, lowering the solid wooden safety bar into the iron locks, a security measure from the old days of the war. Feeling a bit safer now, she heated some milk over the slowly sparking fire and drank the comfortable warm beverage until her eyelids began to droop with sleepiness. Heading back to bed, she covered up in the warm blankets again and drifted off to sleep. Suddenly, the front door burst open, splintering the wooden safety bar like a thousand little toothpicks. 
there sounded a thunderous stomp, 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 as footsteps clambered from the front door down the hallway toward the bedroom where the old woman lay, terrified. A shadowy figure stood in the doorway, the stench of rot and death filling the small room as a deep voice moaned, Harry Joe, Harry Joe, I want my Harry Joe. The old woman jumped up from the bed, pressing herself deeply into the farthest corner of the room and shouted, I ate your Harry Joe. Yes, you did said the gigantic figure as it moved into the room, slowly advancing towards the woman in the corner. The old woman was never seen again. Many stories were told to explain her disappearance, mostly rubbish involving forest fairies and journeys into the deep earth. The only real clue to her disappearance was a footprint left in the soft soil of the garden, large like the size of a doghouse, and unusual, and that it was missing the big left toe. Ooh, that was a creepy one. <laughs> I hope it wasn't too scary. Be sure to tune in next week for an all new adventure, Spine Tingling for Halloween. Thanks so much for joining us today, and until then, happy story time. Bye.